brothers and sisters, we must all believe, right? Pastors and elders are ordained by the Lord. That's true. Amen. Amen. They are people who serve the Lord. Obeying pastors and elders is obeying the Lord. Amen. Amen. If we resist our pastors and elders, we are resisting the Lord. That's Amen. 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 How is this resisting the Lord? Can pastors and elders represent the Lord? Pastors and elders cannot be compared to the Lord. Right. Okay. Let's think about this logically, right? Who preaches when you're sitting in church? The pastors, pastors and, and elders. elders. Right. Pastors and elders. That's right. Only pastors and elders can understand and interpret the Bible. They alone can shepherd us all. Amen. Amen. Yes. Therefore, if what the pastors and elders tell us conforms to the Bible and has basis in it, we should comply and obey. Amen. Amen. As long as pastors and elders' actions conform with the Bible, we should accept it and follow them. Amen. Amen. Tell me this, obeying and listening to pastors and elders, where could we go wrong? Exactly. That's, that's right. right. I agree. How could they say what I doing? think we should listen to God instead of people. Wait a second. I mean, the pastors and elders have been leading us for years. Everyone calm down. One moment. Everyone. Regarding whether pastors and elders were chosen and appointed by the Lord, we can find out. Let's listen to the fellowship from the Church of Almighty God. Let's hear from the Church of Almighty God. Yes. What they preach is profound. We cannot listen. Let's hear what they come up with. Brother Lee, communicate with us. Yes, do it. Tell us. Please. Thanks be to God. Everyone, please allow me to share my knowledge on this. Sure. sure. In religion, many believe religious pastors and elders are chosen, appointed by the Lord, and therefore people should obey them. Is such a view founded in the Bible? Is it proven by the Lord's Word? No. Does it have testimony of the Holy Spirit and confirmation of His work? No, it doesn't. If all the answers are no, then doesn't that mean this belief that the pastors and elders are appointed by the Lord is just a figment of people's own imaginations? Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. In the age of law, Moses was set up by God. However, does that mean all Jewish leaders in the age of law were set up by God? No. In the age of grace, the twelve apostles were appointed by the Lord Jesus himself. Does this mean that all of the pastors and elders in the age of grace were appointed by the Lord? No, 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 no. Of, course, well, of course they were. Not. A lot of people like to follow rules, but don't approach things according to facts. That's why they worship people instead. You see the problem? Why can't people make the distinction? Why can't they seek the truth on these things? Yeah. We've never thought of it that way before. It seems the truth is there to find. Right. Brother Lee, fellowship with us, please. Yes, please communicate more. We can see from what's recorded in the Bible. In every age of His work, God chooses some people to cooperate with His work. And those personally appointed and used by God have confirmation of His Word. Like in the age of law, God appointed Moses to lead the Israelites. It's proven by God's words. Yes. Let's look at Exodus 3, 9 through 10. Who would like to read? Here, let me. Jehovah God said, Now therefore... Behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Amen. Amen. 
It's proven by God's word. Yes, that's God's word. In the age of grace, the Lord Jesus appointed 12 apostles to shepherd the church. As the Lord Jesus said when he appointed Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, love you me? Feed my sheep, and I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Amen. Yes, indeed. From this we can see anyone appointed and used by God is personally witnessed by God. And God's word is proof. It's confirmed by the Holy Spirit's work. That's yes. right. That's right. All their work is upheld by God. Obeying their work and leadership is obeying God. Anyone resisting these people is to resist God. He will be cursed and punished by God. Yes. Just like in the age of law. What happened when Korah, Dathan, and their people resisted Moses? They were directly punished by God. God caused the earth to swallow them all. Yes. 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 Right. Everyone knows that's a fact. Yes. That's true. In the age of grace, the apostles appointed by the Lord have confirmation of His word. But are today's pastors appointed by the Lord? Is it evidenced by the word of the Lord? No. Most of them have certificates in theology or attended theological school. They did this to become pastors, not because the Holy Spirit personally used them. Is this not a fact? Yes, it is. Yes, that is true. true. Has anyone seen or heard the Holy Spirit personally appoint a pastor? No, well, I haven't. No. This simply doesn't happen. That's true. There would be testimony of the Holy Spirit, if they were, and believers to witness. So we know pastors and elders are not appointed by the Lord. This is certain. Thank the Lord. That's true. I've even heard some of them don't think the Lord Jesus came from conception by the Holy Spirit. They don't think conception by the Holy Spirit is scientific. They might not even admit that Christ is the appearance of God. Indeed, right. yes. Mm. Yeah. If such pastors existed back in the time when the Lord Jesus worked, they would not have accepted the Lord Jesus. Then how would they treat the appearance and work of God incarnate in the last days? They would all be like the Pharisees, scribes, and chief priests, condemning the Lord Jesus and opposing him. That would be the case. That's right. Yes. Are such pastors and elders people who genuinely obey God? No, they resist God. They don't even believe in God incarnate and don't acknowledge truth expressed by God incarnate. Isn't Antichrist an accurate thing to call them? Yes, Antichrists. So the idea that pastors and elders are all appointed by the Lord, does this still make sense? It does no, not. No, it it does. There's no question about if that. If one insists these pastors and elders are appointed and used by the Lord, isn't this slander and blasphemy against God? Indeed. Yes. yes. It is. Would God ever use unbelievers and antichrists to lead God's chosen people? No, 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 that's no. Wrong. of course no. not. Isn't this idea completely absurd and wrong, fallacious? Yes, yes. It's absolutely ridiculous. Isn't this just confusing facts, black and white? Yes, yes. That's so true. It's so true. There's no way we can see through anything without knowing the truth. Everyone, I hope now we've cleared things up. Those appointed and used by God are personally testified by God and have the confirmation and effects of the Holy Spirit's work and can help God's chosen people attain life supply and true shepherding. Yeah. He's absolutely right. God is righteous, holy. Amen. Amen. So all those appointed by God are in line with God's will. Hmm. 
They won't be like the hypocritical Pharisees. And they won't be like truth-hating, God-opposing antichrists. Yes. 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 That's right. God won't use antichrists. That's right. Definitely. Amen. Let's look at today's religious pastors and leaders. Most of them come from theological schools but they're not personally appointed by God. They merely study theology and the Bible. Their work and preaching focuses only on Bible knowledge and theology, and its characters, stories, and history. Biblical trivia. Yeah, that's yeah, true that's indeed. indeed. True. The other thing they teach is how to follow religious rituals and rules. They don't try to communicate the truth of God's words, nor do they lead people to experience His words or observe God's commandments. They never talk about knowing themselves and real-life experiences mm, yeah. or discuss true knowledge of God. Can such work and preaching attain the work of the Holy Spirit? No. 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 Can such service satisfy God's intentions? Well, surely no, not. not. No. Can it lead people to practice the truth and enter the right track of faith in God? No. 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 That's, no. That's not possible. Explaining the Bible this way, aren't they following their own path, resisting God? They surely yes, are. Yes, it's definitely yes, indeed, resisting God. And when Almighty God expresses truths and performs His judgment work, these religious leaders know that Almighty God's words are the truth and can purify and save people. Yet they do not accept it. Even worse, they don't allow believers to read Almighty God's words. Mm. Yes, right? Just to protect their position, they furiously condemn Almighty God. They even work with the CCP to arrest and persecute of evangelists. It's completely evil. How could believers How could in God they do, do such a thing? How are these pastors any different from the Pharisees who resisted the Lord Jesus back in the day? They, they are the modern God. Pharisees. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. Are they not preventing people from accepting the true way? Yeah. 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 How could these truth-hating, God-opposing people possibly be appointed and used by God? He's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Would God choose these people who hate the truth and get in the way of His will? to lead his chosen people. No, no, not a no. chance. No, 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 he, no he wouldn't. That's right. He never would. That's just the truth. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The more I listen to you, the more enlightened I feel. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So all people appointed and used by God are personally witnessed and confirmed by God's word. In the very least, there should be confirmation of the Holy Spirit's yes. word. Yes. It's so Amen. obvious. Pastors and elders aren't confirmed by God's word or by the work of the Holy Spirit. How could they be appointed or used by God? Yes, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. We believed in the Lord for so long, yet we couldn't even see this. We've really been ignorant and blind. Without yes. such fellowship, I would never have understood. Thanks be to the Lord. Today has been enlightening. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.